Hey guys, I'm Aaron. And today I want to take a look at an issue that some of you are running into, which is reconnecting dimensions to models in layout. So this is kind of a funny thing because it's one of those situations where I had a hard time creating the problem to show you what the solution was, but I know I've had the problem show up in models before. So I want to show you not just how to fix the problem if it comes along, but what I had to do to cause the problem in order to show you how to fix it. Follow? Let's hop in. Okay, so I have a pretty simple model here, and this is intentionally very easy. So I have, I just created two scenes, uh, this little house where we're looking at the door, and then a second scene where we're looking at the side. So that's created, that's saved, and now let's go ahead and hop over to layout. Okay, in layout, I'm going to, we're gonna talk happy path real quick. This is when everything works perfectly. I'm gonna come in here and put a couple dimensions. I'm just gonna do a dimension right across the bottom as 10 foot. We'll dimension to the edge of the doorway and then the full width of the doorway. And then just for fun, we'll go ahead and we'll throw in a, a height in here. Whoa, that's a weird dimension. Um, all right, so there we go. So there's our dimensions. Uh, let's say we wanna make some changes now. Um, maybe I want to take this and, and scoot it over a couple inches and make it a three foot door rather than a two foot eight door. So we'll go ahead and hop back into SketchUp or come back to the front view. I don't have to work from the scene either. I can work anywhere. It doesn't really matter. Um, but I'll take, it was two foot eight. So I'm going to take this section, just this trim right here, and we're going to move it this way four inches. Okay. And then maybe, like I said, we'll remove the door itself as well. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to scoot it this way. Uh, we'll say this six inches. All right, and then of course I have to go to file and save my model. Now, when I come over, back over to layout, it's showing the exact same thing. So one of the things I have to do, of course, is select on the model window, right click and say update model reference. Now, what should happen at this point? Hitting update model reference should update my image and it should update the dimensions automatically. So if I hit update model reference, Oh, there we go. Look at that. Everything works perfect. See, this is why we call this the happy path because right now I'm happy. Um, so we did so moved to our six inches. The doorway is three feet rather than two foot eight. That works perfectly. Sometimes what happens is something at, at some point while you're doing these, this editing, this changing, something shows up incorrect, right? So you get in here and for whatever reason, uh, you have like, um, well, this, let's jump to page two. Okay, somehow something happened and I have all these red dimensions. Something occurred that, that wrecked this. So sometimes what will happen, if you come in here, right click and you say, uh, update model reference, there are occasions where that will go away, but sometimes it doesn't happen. If that's the case, so um, I actually saw some people talking about this on the forum and went in and kind of played around in here a little bit. Uh, what you can do is you can actually come to this broken dimension. So that red, red is indicating that there's a problem. That's generally what red means when you see it in, a, in UI. If I double click on it, look what it shows me. It shows me that this red dot, this end of this dimension is not connected to anything. So even though it's hitting where this, this window is, it's not actually connected to the model. So if I click on it, same thing, we'll go to four here, double click that, oh, look, both ends are lost on this one. So if all I had to do is just drag them, put them back on there, same thing over here, let's see what's going on here, where, oh. So I don't know if you guys are picking up on this, but this is telling me that something with this window isn't right. So I can tell that it had to do with the window because, two, two, two hints here, my 10 foot dimension across the bottom was still good. I didn't have to change that. And when I brought up my uh, six foot eight vertical dimension, this end was disconnected, but this end was not. So that's telling me something happened with this window that caused that problem. And that's exactly what I did. So if I come back over here, what I did to cause this problem was I took this window, I cut it, so I'll go ahead and just do the same thing. We'll recreate the problem. I'm gonna say cut that window, and then I'm just gonna say edit 
paste in place. So it's in the exact same spot. But the process of cutting it and pasting it actually created brand new IDs for these entities. So these things look exactly like the old one. They're in exactly the same place. But if I come in here, file and hit save, and now hop over to layout, if I update this page to the new model, they all go back to red again because the dimensions were connected to specific entities and those entities are now gone. These new entities are in the exact same place, but layout doesn't know it. So that's what I ended up doing to cause this problem. Um, fortunately, like I said, the, the process of, of cleaning up is not ideal, but um, there's really not a way to tell layout, oh, go ahead and grab a dimension that's of an entity that's close to where that other one was, because that would that would probably cause more problems than it would fix. So fortunately, double clicking and then just taking this dot, drag it away, drag it back on, and that's upgraded. That is a fairly quick, fairly easy way to update those disconnected dimensions. So like I was saying, as I was reading about this on the forum, I was like, I've had this problem. I have seen this where every once in a while I'll go update model and uh, what are you telling me? my dimensions are wrong? And then I started thinking about this and like, yeah, if I go back through the models that I had this problem on, the issue I had was I cut and paste. So I changed context of something. So out of this group, back into this group or this component changed. So I actually replaced it with the component with a different piece it all ended up looking almost exactly the same, um, but it didn't do what I was expecting. So it didn't adjust the dimensions because it can't adjust the dimensions because it's dimensioning a new piece. Um, so keep an eye on that. See if you see that. And if so, is it as simple as double clicking and just moving that dot? Um, I'd love to hear if you've run into this problem or other problems. Go ahead and leave a mention down in the comments if that's the case. If you like this video, please click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, like I said, please leave us a comment down below. Most if not all of our content nowadays is created based on comments from viewers like you. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.